guys. I hope that everyone is doing well. If you're new here, my name is Paige. Thank you for being here. I'm excited. I'll tell you why. I have another Princess Polly haul for you. But this one's really, really cute. Like, really, really cute to the point where, like, I. This is all I'm gonna be wearing for the next week. I wore this last night and I'm wearing it again. And as always, I do have a code for you guys Love Paige for 20% off your order. Also, I forgot to mention to go to us.princesspolly.com. Here's the website. If you guys didn't know, Princess Polly offers afterpay to US customers. And if your order is over $50 in the US, you get express two day shipping. generation my only bone to pick with juice generation and and disciples in general like this is it's basically like eating ice cream and they kind of trick you into thinking that this is super healthy and it's really not more importantly today we're talking about princess polly they just have cute stuff i mean we all know this first we have this green guy i love it my hair is darker now i want a little bit darker more natural looking and i feel like it's really suiting i think it would look good on any hair color honestly even more so on brunette i'm really into these They're kind of like khaki material which i think is super cool if you want to look cool and trendy but you don't really feel like trying these are really easy i really like these I'm gonna do all the pants first, I think, because I have some really cool pants in this haul. I love these. They're sick. I mean, zebra print is super in right now. These in particular are really nice material. And I like how they're not skinny. Like, I don't really do skinny jeans. So, really cute. Even with this top, I think it would look really cute. Or even with a white t-shirt and Converse. Really sick. Next, just these little shorts. I love these because I'm always running around just like my in my area, in my neighborhood in New York, and I don't necessarily always want to put on a full outfit. And I'm wearing pajamas a lot of the time, like truly. There's this TikTok that's like in New York, three blocks around you is your front yard. So if you see me, it doesn't count. Like, but, <laughs> but yeah, I feel like these are a cute option. Even going to the beach, they're just like a corduroy vibe. I wear shorts like this all the time because I'm lazy. So love. And then another really fun pair of pants. I've been seeing these on their Instagram forever and I finally had to get them. I think they're really fucking cool and really flattering. I also really love this like label on it. I don't know. Really into it. Next to this cute little tank top. We love her. It has like little cherubs on it, which I'm obsessed with. I want to get this tattooed, but I think my mom would kill me. This is super me. 
Okay, so I got two tops in this style that I'm really excited about that I haven't tried. So this dress from Princess Polly, it's this really pretty black like sweater dress vibe. But then it's like this, these, I mean, you'll see it on, so it'll make more sense. But like these like long sleeve like sweater, that you put, I don't know how to explain it, but it's really, really cute. And it's a set. And then it's the same thing with this shirt. Do you know what I mean? You put this around your shoulders and then you wear the top. It's cute. This just really brings out my inner basic East Coast New England bitch. Like, come on. Like as much of a tomboy as I am sometimes, like this frilly girl shit just is my favorite. With blue jeans, come on. Princess Polly every summer comes out with these like really pretty white tops. And I feel like this is one you should get for sure. Oh, random. I also got these socks. The other one's like on the other side of the room for some reason. It says like, let's go surfing on it. And I thought they were really cute. Right? They have a lot of cute accessories on the site. And last but not least, this vintage tee. I love just getting like a good vintage tee from Princess Polly. I feel like they have so many good ones and I never get them. I actually think this is really cool. I really need to do a makeup video, guys. It's past two. I've been putting it off. Not for any other reason besides the fact that makeup videos are actually hard to film. But that's not an excuse. Like, this is my job. As a person who watched YouTube growing up, I never watched vlogs. I never watched anything besides makeup videos. That was it. I was, like, into makeup YouTube. It's how I learned to do my makeup. I still watch makeup videos. Like, they're my favorite, and I don't even make them. And it was part of the reason why I wanted to start my channel. So I need to do that. Like, I'm going to. Maybe I'll do one... Um, Tomorrow. I'm not super hungover. I'm going out tonight. I'm going out to dinner tonight, having like a girls' night, and there's like a big birthday party. We'll see. But I definitely want to film a makeup video. Even the makeup looks that I did on the Revolve trip, I would love to recreate for you guys. Um, because I have new favorites. I feel like having variety on YouTube is good. Like maybe I'll focus less on vlogs and focus more on tutorials and like sit-down videos. I don't know. Maybe I'll just do it all. I'm done with school now, so it'll make it much easier for me to create content because I, although I was literally uploading two times a week or trying to upload two times a week, I was also taking six classes a semester in order to graduate, which was insane. But I'm free, I'm graduated. It's kind of weird. It's kind of weird. So now I don't really have any excuse. So yeah, but I hope you guys are doing well. Can I just eat this and talk to you guys? I hate how short sometimes my hauls are. You guys were like, really? Does this count as your one upload for the week? Maybe I'll give you guys like a little life update. Or I can make that into another video. I have a lot of shit to do today. Maybe I should just sign off. I hope you guys liked the Revolve video. It was super chaotic to edit, but I feel like it was really quick and fun and like you got like the gist, right? I think the next Revolve trip I go on, I'll do more talking and I'll do more like getting ready for the dinners and like do all of that. But it was my first trip and I think that I learned a lot because I've never been on a vacation that's just for content. Half the time on vacation, I'm like, I need to get the fuck off my phone. But with the Revolve trip, it was kind of the opposite of that. I was like constantly wanting to catch all the moments because I like had to post. It was really a content trip. People think that it isn't a job, that social media is not a job and that it doesn't take effort, but sweetie, it is a full-time job. Not only is it a full-time job though, there's no work and there's no work and life separation. So you're you're just like continuously kind of working all the time. And although like I literally wouldn't trade what I'm doing for anything, I can't even believe that this is now my job. Like it's fucking crazy to me still. It's work and it's tough sometimes. And there's a lot of shit you don't see behind the scenes. Okay, I'm gonna sign off. I love you guys. Thank you for watching if you've made it this far. More videos to come. I'm gonna do like a lot of non-sponsored content. Just like get it out, you know? Till next time.